Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, and this is such an awkward angle. Okay. Um, I figured I was going to make a quick video addressing the issue, um, because like I said, this video, this channel is, obviously, it's towards, like, I don't know, it's not really towards anything. I really just make this channel and just make videos, pretty much whatever you guys want to see, or whatever I think of and I come up with. So, this video, since it doesn't have a specific direction, I'm, I mean, this channel doesn't have a specific direction. It's just iced coffee. Um, I figured that I would address this issue. I know many people I've seen because I know when I downloaded what I downloaded, um, I noticed that people were having the same issue. And I finally figured out how to resolve it thanks to a forum. But this forum was so hard to find. And without it, I wouldn't have honestly known how to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. Because you're probably like, okay, this group like confusing the life out of me. No, I'm talking about the Dolphin emulator. It is known for um, being a, oh my, when you look on your computer and you see yourself, um, when you you download it in order to play GameCube games on your computer and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> um, pretty much there are, one of the problems that I was having was the fact that after I downloaded it and opened the game and started trying to play the game, I couldn't, I didn't have anything to control it. And the main thing you always see is when you first open it up is that it says, um, you can connect like a Wiimote or something like that. And this brightness is from my computer screen. Um, when you first open it, it says like Wiimote, GC pad, DSP, graphics configuration, stuff like that. And I played around with it for the longest and I could not figure out how to get like the controls to work or right? like to use my keyboard because... I don't have any controllers that I could possibly use. I have Wiimotes, but for some reason the Wiimote obviously doesn't work with game controls, so... And if I'm wrong, comment down below and tell me how I can use a Wiimote. Um, so yeah, I just didn't know how to fix it, and I was just stressing, looking at all these forums, and all the forums were just like, well, click keyboard, duh, but it's not that simple because it wasn't working. So pretty much what I'm going to do is show you how to fix that problem with the Dolphin emulator because now that I found that forum it is working wonderfully and I've been playing all of my favorite games so without further ado let's get into it actually before we get into it I'm gonna go over a few of my favorite games um my three favorites are Super Mario Sunshine, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, and Star Fox Assault. Thought you guys should know that. Now we'll get into it. Okay Okay, hello guys. You are looking at my computer screen right here. I am on a MacBook Pro, I believe. That's what it's called. Yep, MacBook Pro. It says it down here. Somewhere down here. You can't, okay, you can barely see it. Right there. Um, and I have the Dolphin emulator pulled up. If you want a video on how to download it, comment down below and I will surely make one. Um, and this is the first thing you see. For some reason, only one of my games shows up here. But the first thing you see is all of this. And... There was just so many options to choose from that I didn't know what to do, and I looked at all of the forums online, and none of them were very helpful. So, in order to get your keyboard to work, there's actually one very simple thing that you do, and you go to configure, and under GameCube, for your settings down here where it says slot A, slot B, SP1, port 1, 2, 3, and 4, for port 1, you have to choose standard controller. And I learned this the hard way, and you hit OK. Um, the game that I'm going to just open is The Sims 2 does not work very well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Legend of Zelda right here and show you that it works perfectly fine now. Make sure you, that you have all of your settings configured and make sure that you're um, choice is the first one that says keyboard, not import, import, input, I'm sorry, and, um, uh, make sure it just says keyboard, and, so, pretty much, here's Zelda, I'll go ahead and make it full screen, see, I didn't even have to hit anything, and it just, so, for my A button, I have the, just to press the trackpad, and if you watch, It works perfectly, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that I have WASD set as the up and down controller. And here's me moving it. 
Um, I have R is, I believe this. And I'm cruising, I can turn, and it works perfectly. Um, took me a little while to get my my sig configured and stuff like that because I didn't know the easiest way to have them all set up since the GameCube had a decent amount of controls. But, yes. Um, that is actually pretty much the fix. That's all you have to do, and I'm going to drown, so I'm going to click off because I don't want to die. Um, so yes, it's a very simple way, pretty much, like I said, configure GameCube and make sure port 1 is st set to standard controller. <sighs> yes. So I hope you guys found this easy. Hello guys, and it's gotten extremely dark, um, because... It's actually about to storm, but I hope you guys found that tutorial very easy. Like I said, it was so much trouble trying to find the actual reason of why it was not working, and come to find out it was something that simple. So I hope I helped you guys a lot, because I surely know I needed the help and I could not figure out how to do it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's anything else you would like to see, make sure you comment down below because I will definitely try to record them. Sorry, I was looking up at the trees, looking at the sky because it's supposed to storm and it's getting kind of dark. Um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching.